Hello everyone, it's Aki again from Aki's Garage. Welcome to another video. Video today is for uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, C-Class 220 2.1 engine and the power of this vehicle is 170 brake horsepower and I believe this car is 2017 and the mileage on this vehicle is 81,000 uh, and uh, something. Anyway, uh, uh, the customer complaint on this vehicle is AdBlue. So the obviously this guy has been too many places and the customer is fed up with the AdBlue system. So he asked uh, me to delete the completely AdBlue for good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna quick, just quick one uh, diagnostic to confirm the customer complaint. So let me just get inside the car. Okay guys, I just put the ignition on. Ignition is on. And you can see, check AdBlue, see owner manuals. So I will reconnect my diagnostic. Let's we go here. Okay. That's the chassis number, okay. And I just do full scan. Okay. Sorry for earlier, guys. Yeah, maybe I do right here. It's a lot better. I just do full scan. Okay, you go to the list. So as you can see guys, we got AdBlue system fault and we got the emission limit for the uh, Enox sensor and Enox sensor signal uh, as well. Anyway, so we know the complaint is okay from the customer. So I leave my diagnostic here. I put the ignition off for now. We're gonna go under the bonnet and try to get uh, some information. Let me just open the bonnet. Bonnet is open. Okay. Yeah, this is the engine. Let me just take off the cover. Just leave it here. Okay, and this is the actual ECU. You're gonna take the ECU off, and we try to read it by bench. But before we disconnect the ECU, we're gonna disconnect the battery just for safety. Alright, guys, just disconnect the. Actually, are just using E11 socket. Oh guys, I got the issue here. So I'm going to use auto tuner today to just try to read this uh, issue. Let me just open auto tuner. But I just go here to search. As you can see, guys, I got the ECU number here. I just type it here CRD3, CRD3, P dot D1. As you can see, guys, this is the one, yeah, 220 blue tech and uh, 170 work also so I click on this and then I go to bench so I just use the wiring diagram on this one so I go all the way down as you can see this is the uh, location of the ECU and we're going to use the universal cable and 
and this is the wire in our ground. So this is a universal cable. I'll go back to the uh, main page. So I'm gonna do uh, identify first. As you can see, it's already find the issue and this is the right issue. So I'm gonna read the issue. So just no more read. Go to documents. Just save it here. As you can see, the actual software is stored uh, within the ID and MCU. And now it's just reading the pay flash. That's complete. That's all good. All right, guys. I already read the file, so I'm going to do a stage one. And same time, I'm going to delete the add blue. Oh guys, uh, I done the file. File is ready. So let me I just do another uh, identify. So that's the uh, ECU. As you can see, guys, my auto tuner is connected to the ECU. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to write the ECU from here. So I just go here and. This is the actual file. I'm gonna uh, load it. Yes. So as you can see, the uh, new file is just uh, uploading uh, to the auto tuner. And now, as you can see guys, it's just trying to uh, erase the uh, actual uh, file and uh, rewriting the modified file. Alright, uh, the ECU has been successfully flashed. From here, I just uh, disconnect all my wiring pin out and make sure we close this. So now we're going back to the car. Let's go back to the car. Okay. I just put my camera here. So now we're gonna put the battery terminal back. So now before uh, we start the car and uh, before we put the ignition on, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the boot. I just open the boot and uh, we need to disconnect the AdBlue ECU, uh, which is just right here. Guys, as you can see, this is the AdBlue ECU. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just try to disconnect it. We don't need any more here. As you can see, I disconnected, and I just just put the connection back to here. And yeah, that's it. And we're going to leave the actual ECU just right there. So I put everything back here. So now we just close the boot and we go inside the car. 
powered by inside the car but with the ignition on so let's we do one more diagnostic and we make sure we just clear everything because we did disconnect the battery and the actual ECU so what we're going to do we're going to do one full scan and we try to erase everything before we start the engine As you can see guys, everything is nice clean. So we don't have any faults here. So let's put the ignition on again. And let's start the car. As you can see guys, we don't have any error. We don't have any uh, engine light. There is no any more sign. This is just because the fuel is low. As you can see guys, everything going back to the normal. We don't have any issue with the car and yeah that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope there is some information for someone and like always thank you very much for watching